It's week four of the NFL, and all eyes are on Cooper Cup. He's coming off a more than solid showing, 116 yards last week. It's the Patriots and the Cowboys, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And if you look back to last week, gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the Patriots. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Patriots are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyric. Real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning out. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. And he'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. And now here come the Cowboys. Following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right in the yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 11-yard line. It's Eckler again. Ooh, the juke. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Austin Eckler, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run? All the line to 45 yard line. It'll wind up just a 35 yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Herbert on first down now. A short throw caught by Andrews. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. Out of the gun, Herbert. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Well, he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They snap it to Herbert. And they find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as he gets a little more than he needed. Four yards of pick up there on fourth and two. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Back to throw here, Herbert. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Here is third down and four. Here's Herbert. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Herbert. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. To the air again, Herbert. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Pollard. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Five to the 26 yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter. So time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Herbert on first down now. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Yeah, 
Herbert throwing again. Open man, right side, it's Lennon. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game, and he's got a first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And his throw here is incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. He's got his man. It's Gallo. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. And a gain there of 21 yards. The partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw into the hands of Andrews. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and one from the two. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up for the first and goal. Here's Herbert. through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason. Um, possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. That's the relief that you still have the lead. But coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. The Cowboys on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. 68 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. At the 40-yard line. Here's Herbert. A short throw caught by Andrews. And a well pass midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Parker, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Eckler now between the tackles. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. 
I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 26. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And after the broken tackle, couldn't get free for much space, taken down right at the 10. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. Herbert now. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cowboys are going to be moving to 4-0 as they extend their lead. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. This one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ballgame. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's 